Hey guys, me Steve. Today's uh, Monday the 18th of June. Time is uh, 8.43 a.m. Uh, I'm on a new kind of location today. But some of it is kind of like overgrown, which I didn't expect it to be. But um, there is fields down there, which I'll do later, probably. Uh, but I'm going to go over this way because there is a field over here. Just come in the other entrance, that's all. Uh, I'm going to detach around near these trees as well. Uh, the big trees. Um, I might even detach along this pathway as well. See what's along here. Uh, fields over there. But I'm definitely going to come and do these trees in a minute. Um, and there's the field there. So I'm going to get set up and I'll be with you on my first dig. So stay tuned for this in a minute. Right guys, uh, I'm digging this hole here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this hole. Uh, I've done a couple, I've got three P, three one pences, but that's all. It weren't worth me just showing you the one please. I've also been getting junk out like iron bolts and shit. Like this. Just iron. And I ain't taking great big scraps of iron like this so So what I tend to do is dispose of it. It's getting a bit chilly out here actually, but I'm actually sweating. So I want to keep the iron on in case there's some other kind of like interesting stuff there. Just a nail. Cook it now. Why are we getting a lot more out of here, actually, to be honest with you? You know, people sit in this park quite a lot during the hot days. They go in a pub and get a drink. A little bit of iron. I thought we'd be getting a lot more better stuff out of here though. and that's so mild. Oh, 
I dig in deep holes to turn around things today. After all this folly and mail or something. Probably gonna get kicked off now. I'm gonna sit down for a little while and see what happens. If I get kicked off, I'll get kicked off. Well, I'm gonna turn this off a little bit. Down here, and it's my first old one pound coin for the day. Had to put the headphones on because the traffic. Right, catch you on the next one. Okay, we've got something here. It looks greenish. <laughs> like the wheel trolley wheel. Oh, that one went home with me. But it's a live dig. I'll put that down there, so I ain't taking it home. Right, catch on the next one. Well guys, I've just dug another plug, and uh, would you believe it, it's another 50p modern, but only half a 50p. That's the first ever half coin I found. Interesting. There's a few other halves around in there. So someone's cut a fence in half. I think I did get another signal over here. So bear with me because I'm going to try. Try 
tight like that. Try it like that, guys. Oxy. I've dropped it, the battery's come out again. I did have another hit right here a minute ago. That be the other half of the 50p. Now there's a live dig, guys. You heard the signal. No, it's at the top. So today all one find in modern day coins. I had to leave the other place because there's just too much iron stuff there. And I've actually put it on to iron now. Um, I've got sensitivity halfway. Getting a lot of signals around here. Might be some underground cabling. Might be some fencing around here. Yeah. So everywhere. Let's go into that big tree. There's a quite a bit of iron in here because the concrete's iron. Yeah, too much iron around. Only big trees hide money around. Look how big this is. Big fucking tree. Shit. Oh, I thought I lost my camera then. That's one big tree, man. One big old tree. And it's not one. 
the signal around it. Right, concrete. Someone dug a hole here. Sorry, I'm going there. So that's going to be too big. And I'm not digging that out. Going to be part of the uh, Concrete floor. It's unusual to find a half a pit fifty P though. I don't know if he's digging too deep. I know sometimes some of the good stuff might be quite deep. But it's soaking normal iron.
No, I've gone maybe it's too deep. I'm up to digging deep stuff today. Not in the park anyway. Don't people complaining. Going over to that tree and that tree, then the next tree. So we get anything over there. If not, we're going to look somewhere else to go. That park is concrete, so we can't do anything in there. The problem with our parks are always concrete or um, tarmac. Right, let's see if there's anything full top service. Right, nothing can this one. Probably a minute to get out, so. See, the patches are usually where people sit, I think. I just want to check the sign post for a minute. Hmm. Right, we'll go and check that tree. Thank you at all. Well, okay, so uh, I'm going to stop here, have a little rest, and try to find out where that other part is I want to go to. It's more of a wooded area. I 
can't remember where to get there. I know one way of getting there, but I don't know there's a way of getting there from here. So I'll uh, close this off for now. I'll get back to you in a little while. Sorry, a bit at all, so I'm going to check around here. Glass a bit high, but there is like, you know, there's a part there and there. Nice, uh, some sticks on the head. I'm going to do a live one. It's going to be an iron bar or something. It's too much of a signal there. Too much iron. Let's see, it's going all the way down. It's iron that is. Um, we're going to go into the wooded area, see what we can find in here. Not worth doing over it because it's just too high. I'm getting my detector down that though. Way back out the back. Things are going to bring so much shit with you. It will bring four boxes of water with you each day in case it needs to start getting. I think that's probably another bar or something, iron. Well, I can't even dig into it. I'll leave that. I ain't gonna waste my energy. Find that's gonna be a fucking bar. Look, you gotta have a lot of iron in here. Um, down here see where this leads I don't think it leads anywhere nope Whew, it's hot I don't think we're going to have much luck today guys I thought give this area a go Okay, this actually goes along the side of the river. Cobweb just got in my fucking ear out. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get back. It's 
make sure it's got in my fucking ear. I should have come out this way. Or gone in that way. I'm going to get eaten alive. This concrete. It's just going to be completely bit more, bit, uh, lots of iron. I think this was the landfill at one time. That's cool. See, I'm just getting too much iron on it. And I've taken iron off. I've actually been down in magnet fishing before. So it's just everywhere. Turn it off the wall. <coughs> I've already just had a drink and I'm thirsty again. Yeah, look, see, just iron everywhere. I don't know why my pants keep falling down again. I put a new, well, not a new belt, but I put a, another hole in the belt, I think, on that like, hole. Until it's filled in. Yeah, later, I think. Right, 
Well, I'm going to turn the camera off, guys, until I get something. And I'll let you see where I find it, if I find it. I'll catch you in a little bit. Well, I hope these people like doing their job. for a good few minutes, hoping it'll lead to some part, but nope, leads to the main road. So I've got to walk all the way back up. So, there we go. Not worth doing it down there, but I'm going to make that. Goes all right out to uh, Wandsworth Bridge, Wandsworth Park. So I can't do Wandsworth Park because uh, well, no, I know no permission to do Wandsworth as of yet. So I'm hoping that when I get home, it might be an email, but Wandsworth and Lambeth have been very so even answering any emails. Right, well, I'll turn this off again, guys, and I'll get back to you um, a bit later on. I might go back to that park uh, as I was there earlier. And it's on the way home anyway, so um, I'll probably call it quits early today. If I don't get anything else at that park, so I won't get into modern coins and a crap load of iron. Um, I don't know where else I can go today. I could probably go at one way of stinks, but the problem is getting there. Uh, I'd have to take two buses to get there. And I don't be doing that. I want to try to keep hold of some of my bus uh, travel costs. Because um, I might go over to uh, Reading tomorrow and get the license and do some metal detecting over there for. Half a day or something. Uh, it's going to take you about two hours to get there. Another 10 15 minutes to find the place. Um, I think she said it's B15 or something that goes to the actual uh, book centre. Plus, I've got to ring them and make sure they still got licences before I even go down there tomorrow. Um, and when I get the licence, I've got to get the information on where I can actually go in Reading, what parks I can do and I'm just wondering if it's worth it because people told me that Reading's shit but you know because they've had shit proper issues and not had uh, much stuff out of it don't mean other people don't and not only that they could be saying that because they want no one else there so um, yeah, I'd probably give them a bell later when I get home and make sure they've still got licences available. So I don't want to be going up there tomorrow without finding out first and getting there and finding out they've sold out. So uh, that's my main plan. Get home, have a cup of coffee, ring up the sports centre, see if they've still got the um, permits. And so uh, plan my journey to get there tomorrow. So there's a pond right green area there. But I know I won't be able to get access to it because it's a industrial estate. Um oh yeah plan my journey to get down there tomorrow if I get if I get to, to go down there tomorrow if they've got the licenses. Um, and then find what part to do. So I ain't going to be travelling around too much tomorrow. As I say, you know, I've got a limit on me here. Uh, travel card. Um, so I'm going to try to grab the nearest decent sized park around and then 
just go in there for a few hours um, and then come back. You can always research other parks uh, within the next couple of weeks. Because I, you know, getting license, I'm not going to just go there for one day, you know, and pay £10 for a license, no way. I'll be going up there every couple of months or something and trying different parks out. Uh, if I get a park where I'm getting good, like, you know, good stuff, you know, like coinage wise, uh, modern or three decimal, you now I'll go back to that park a second time until it starts, like, giving me low fines, then I'll go to another place. But anyway, I'm going to shut up, turn this off, and concentrate on how to get back. I can't remember what way I came now. So, uh, I'll catch you later on, guys. Guys, this ground I thought might have been good. It's no good. It's got iron everywhere. Just listen. You can see the iron down there. everywhere. So this ain't no good. Waste of time coming down, yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, head back over to that park, cut through there, and make me way back home, I think, because uh, I'm not going to get anything here. It's just Iron and concrete everywhere. Can't do nothing. So I mean, it's just wasting time. Even though I got iron off, I'd probably be pick up steel or something. So, um, yeah. Sorry, see. Um, way back. If I'm making the way back, I'll remember the way back. Now I've got to go underneath the bridge. Last time I walked up that way. Made a mistake. Now even this. On here. That glass too. I think it's still. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm going to show off and I'll uh, catch him in a little while, yeah. I've got to try to remember what way I came in. Otherwise, I'm going to get lost again like I did last time. Uh, I think I need to go back that way actually. So I don't remember coming down this path. See this what I hate about this area. I get lost quite easily. Alright, I'll catch it later. So that squirrel has got a nut in its mouth. I'm not going to get on the boy now, eh? I'm going to get on the monkey nuts we call them. Not found nothing apart from a couple of block tops. Uh, I'm just going to scan the land just a little bit. I'm going to head to those trees that I started off with and I'm going to have a little nap, a little snooze. So um, that's my plan. I'm going to scan along here, go over to where those trees were, and I found that old one pound coin. Put my backpack and take my jump off. Use my pillar, uh, my jumper as a pillar, 
and just have a snooze for a while, I think. So I am bloody naked. This weather, it's hot again. It's nice and cold earlier, but now it's boiling hot again. So, um, we just keep on detecting until we get to the trees, and then I will shut this off, end it, and I'll snooze for about an hour. So I'll catch you later on. If I get, get anything, I'll turn it back on. If I don't get anything, then I won't. So I may or I may not see you later. Catch you later. Well, I was just uh, doing a sweep along here. I saw St. Glitter service again. I'm just driving my last one. Busted. No back. I don't know if you saw that. One knackered mobile phone. Alright, catch you on the next one, maybe. Italia, uh, one washer, uh, one of these, an old pound coin. Uh, I think that might be to some kind of heater, I don't know what it is. Uh, the old mobile phone, uh, modern day 50p, modern day half a 50p, and three modern day one pound coins. So that's what I've got today, not a lot. Could do more, but I'm not going to because I'm tired. I'm going to have a rest and maybe a little snooze up tree. So this where I was earlier this morning. And I'm gonna sit back, put my milk detector underneath my bag. Hopefully I won't damage it. Put that in that bag and just lay back and have a look with that. So I'll catch you later guys. Ciao. Thanks for watching, don't forget, check out my Patriot, yeah, because some of the video might not go on my YouTube. Um or it might go on you. Uh, it might go on Patreon before on YouTube. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to be a paid one or not. Um, but all my videos going to only be about a dollar to view uh, before it goes on YouTube. So yeah, cheers for watching. Catch you later.